Hi everyone. We've just released the first full iteration of the DM Hub code modding system that lets you write Lua scripts to modify how DM Hub works. Now I'm going to just jump straight in and show you how to get started with a simple mod that fundamentally changes uh, the game rules at DM Hub. So normally in 5e rules, when you have a character like this druid I've created, uh, their, their attribute modifiers are created according to a, a table. Uh, and it goes so that if my dexterity increases by 2, the modifier will increase by 1. Now suppose you wanted to use a fundamentally different system, and you wanted it so every time the uh, attribute increased by 1, the modifier would also increase by 1. So we would maybe peg our attributes at 10. So if you had a 10, you would get plus 0. If you had an 11, you'd get plus 1. A 12, plus 2, and so forth. A 9 would be a minus 1. Uh, so let's, let's show you how we can, how we can change things up uh, and make DM Hub work like that. So the way we would do that is we would go into our compendium, and we would go into our code mods, and we would, uh, we would specifically like to look at the game rules mod. This is the mod that controls all the fundamental game rules that DM Hub uses, and probably what we would like to do is to work out where attributes are calculated. Uh, we might search for attribute. Uh, custom attribute looks kind of promising, uh, but maybe it's done by the, the creature itself. We can also look up modifier. Uh, that brings up some more things. Um, I'm going to cheat and tell you that I know that it's in, in Creature uh, somewhere. Oh, and I, I guess I was looking at it uh, before. This is this is the code which does it. But this, this is a very large file. You would probably, um, you would probably take some uh, looking around and find that this is the thing that gets a character's attribute and it modifies it. Uh, it, it finds the modifier, and we can see how this works. It uh, it reads out the attributes. So say this is a, a, a 14, for instance. Um, it looks and sees if it's an odd number, and if it's an odd number, it reduces it by one because uh, the odd number isn't really relevant, and we we don't want to get a fractional result. So we'll say this was a 15. This will reduce it to 14, and then we go 14 divided by two gives us seven minus five gives us a plus two. Which, if you look at the the rules, that's that's how how the five E rules. Now, what we could do is we could we could modify this directly. Um, however, that's that's not the preferred way. If you're making a mod to use for yourself, you probably don't want to modify this because DM Hub has a lot of code, and we might update any of this code in a future update, and things would get a bit hairy if we updated this file and you've modified the file, and going around modifying random random bits of of code in a in a large code base. And this this file is huge, by the way. Um, you can see it is absolutely massive. All the things that go into into a creature. Um, so what's what's much better is uh, we can use this as a reference, and we can create our own mod. So I'm going to hit the plus button to create ourselves a new mod. Now what we want to do it's important that everything that we do in this mod we want to override DM Hub's core behavior, and specifically we want to override the rules behavior. And how you make sure that what we do in this mod overrides it is we want to make it that when DM Hub loads up, it loads our mod after it's loaded the game rules. So the game rules get loaded, then our mod gets to make changes. And we do that by adding a dependency to our mod where we make it depend on the game rules. And by doing that, it'll make sure that the game rules always get loaded first and then our mod gets to run. And what I'm going to do is uh, we get this file called main. I'm going to rename it to attribute since we are um, since we're customizing how attributes work. We want to check out the code uh, and then we we can now edit edit the file and we we go to edit the file and this is this is a brand new file it's given us. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to uh, to this file um, where we saw how the attribute modifier is calculated. Um, and so this is in a function called character attribute dot modifier. And one of the really nice things about Lua is you can, if you have a function that is written like this, you can just redefine it later. So we're going to say, uh, like, throw out this version of character attribute dot modifier. We're, we're going to give you a new one. And so I've just copied the function into here, and now I'm going to modify it a little bit. And our, our version is actually much simpler. All we have to do is give 
n minus 10. So if your strength is 15, your strength modifier will be a plus 5. If your uh, strength is an 8, your strength modifier will be minus 2. I haven't quite saved it yet because I want to remind you uh, of what you're going to see is that she, for instance, um, has a strength of 5, and right now it's a minus 3. That'll become minus 5. The dexterity of 17 will go from a plus 3 to a plus 7. So if I, I'm going to get rid of this old code, and then I'm going to save this. And now that I've saved it, we just go back to DM Hub, and uh, we can see that it's worked exactly as we, we said it, what we wanted it to. The strength is a minus 5, uh, the dexterity the plus 7, and so on. Um, and just like that, we've fundamentally modified how this, how this game rule works. Um, so you can see that... Uh, that just by by using the modding system, you can make some uh, really powerful changes uh, really pretty quickly in in some cases. Um, and I hope this has given you a small teaser of how how the modding system works. Uh, in the next video I plan to make, I'm going to show some more details and show how you can actually add some new behaviors for things like uh, like spells and modifying your character. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next video.